YouTube, YouTube's Buffalo Perch Killer out here at the small harbor as usual, getting it in. Partner Angel! Partner Angel inside the hut. Doing this video with him. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a video now on my uh, my best baits. These, these are the baits that I've been catching all my fish with. I'm gonna show you guys all my secrets. What we're gonna start off with, and you know that's me, is the Lindy Perch Talker. That's what we got right there. That's the Lindy Perch Talker. This one right here is the one they call it, uh, the candy cane. It's the pink and white. If you look closely, it looks kind of green. They're actually, it's a, it's a glow in the dark perch stalker. Now, I didn't know it, but my son turned me on to it. This is a small, I just got this. He ordered off the line, offline. This is the small perch stalker. This is the one my son ordered. This is the medium perch stalker. You can see the difference in the size. The silver one, the all chrome one, it's got a bigger it's got a bigger hook, trouble hook on it, and it's also a bigger perch talker. So that's my number one go-to bait. We fish that usually. I got red spikes. I usually spike each hook. You don't have to spike each hook, but I do spike each hook, and you just jig it. Those barrels that's on there, they said it's, uh, it, uh, it displaces the water. It's like a water displacement type thing when you jig it, and it, it, it simulates the sound of a of a school of perch or school not school of perch, school of minnows or something swimming. So that's 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 one, my number one bait right there. My go-to number two bait is a basic tungsten jig. I've talked about this one before. This one is killer for me. You can't really see it. I don't know why my camera will never focus in on that one. But it's also tipped with a red spike. Just a basic tungsten jig, red spike. What's the name? Tons of fish. This one right here, I've caught two or three hundred perch off this one jig alone. It came in a two pack. This is the one I got left. You take this, you barely jig it. You guys see me using it before. So that's my number two bait. My number three is a Swedish pimple. I just took the hook off. I had a drop hook on it. But my number three bait is a Swedish pimple. You guys know what that is. It's a jigging spoon. Perch love it. It's my, I, I don't use it as much as I use the other two because I catch so many fish off the other two. So I don't really use this much. Now, this is something that I just started. I haven't had a lot of success off of it yet, but I'm trying. So what we have here is a drop shot rig. I got the sinker on the bottom, about eight inches up. I got a hook with no leader tied directly to the main line with a, a polymer knot. And then I got another tungsten jig about eight inches above that tied with a polymer knot. Now the thing behind this is, I'm gonna use it on the bucket, is when this goes down to the bottom of the, the lake or whatever, especially if it's a sandy bottom, it probably works best. You're supposed to drop it in the sand to cause some type of disturbance. Because what happens is, when the fish see that disturbance, they look for plankton and different particles that are inside the sand that they eat. So if you bounce that down in that sand like that, those fish are gonna come running. Well, that's the theory behind it. I haven't had much success with it. I don't think I've given it enough chance. But for right now, that's my number four. And fifth and final, this is a jigging wrap. I like anything that comes perch color. The jigging wrap, this thing when you jig it, it goes around in circles as it goes down into the water. So that's my number fifth bait. That's number five bait for me. The jigging wrap. So that's what I do the most. All right. So those are my five baits and I'll talk to you soon. YouTube out.